welcome to Sip and Savor from Lang and Reed Napa Valley. My name is Megan Skepney. My name is Reed Skepney. <laughs> and we're here to bring you some beautiful recipes that have been published over the years that have been chosen to be paired with our wines, uh, specifically our Cabernet Franc and our Chenin Blanc. So today we're going to make a really wonderful, warm, cozy fennel seed meatloaf. Uh, this recipe was published in Food and Wine magazine in 2013, uh, the chef was Anya Fernald, and she's done some amazing things, and we feel so lucky and blessed to be the wine that she has chosen to pair with her meatloaf. What we have for our wine selection today is Lang & Reed's wonderful wine, the 2015 North Coast Cab Blanc. The spice in this meatloaf and the spice in this wine is just going to pair perfectly. Yes. So you're going to go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Uh, first step for us, we have a little bit of milk, about half a cup of milk, and a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm just going to pour the breadcrumbs into the milk, give them a little shake, and those are going to sit while we do the rest of our bread. So our 2015 North Coast is, is a lighter style Cap Franc made in the Loire style, so it's going to have high acid, violet colors, and very beautiful kind of spicy uh, notes to it. Going to be able to pair with everything, but also be able to take the umph of a meatloaf. Great. So, Reed, why don't you grab the parchment paper and the baking pan? Just going to rip off a little sheet of parchment paper and put it in the baking pan. Uh, the ground beef that we're using in this recipe is about 20% fat, lean, so it's going to be nice and fatty. So, you want something to, to catch all that kind of fat. So, get yourself set, ready to roll, and uh, we'll meet you over the stove. Welcome to the other side of our kitchen. Uh, here we are at the range top. We're going to get started making this meatloaf. I am getting hungry. So Reed is already moving and shaking over here. He's got about a third of a cup of olive oil in the pan. And we've got it to a point over medium-high heat where it's just shimmering. Uh, we want to be really aware to not get it smoking. Uh, we don't want to burn anything. So once the oil is hot, we're just going to add our veggies. So one whole onion, nicely chopped up. We got one celery rib, we got two carrots, and two cloves of garlic. Um, the idea of this is to never never cook them through. We're just going to weep them and kind of make the aromatic flavors of the mirepoix come out. The mirepoix is the base for so many different recipes that we know, that you probably know, and it always just really ensures some delicious taste to it. So we got the onions in, the carrots have gone in. We're going to pop the celery in, and then with the garlic, it's always great to add it just at the end. We want to be really aware to not burn the garlic, uh, so it's the creme de la creme of the mirepoix for us. Uh, and garlic burns very quickly, and uh, more so than any of the other vegetables we put in, so just the last couple minutes, give it a toss, and that's all you need. Yeah, sprinkle in some salt and pepper. Uh, we're going to do this for about 15 minutes. Uh, once it's done cooking, we're going to cool it down by putting it in a big bowl, spreading it out, and just let it cool down. So get that done, and then we'll meet you back over at the counter. We are ready to build our meatloaf. I, oh my gosh, my stomach is just rumbling. So <laughs> I'm starving. So we've got our golden brown veggies over here. This was the onion, carrots, the celery, the garlic that we sauteed for about 15 minutes. They're about room temperature now, uh, warm to the touch, but by no means hot. Yeah, they're ready to roll. So all stirred, you want to add in? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. We used to yeah, all add ingredients. Okay, this is perfect. So we're going to start with some goodies. So remember those breadcrumbs and the milk we added? We're just going to put that right in the bowl. All right. And then I have about three tablespoons of tomato paste. Walk that right in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. One of the pluses to stirring the ingredients and mixing them before you add the meat is you get a more even blend throughout the meat. Oh, that's a good point, Sorry, I like it. All right, so we have a lot of spices here. So this is the herb-loaded meatloaf, and fennel seed is our main component. So for us with fennel seed, and oftentimes with other herbs, we like to toast them. So we have this little handy-dandy herb toaster, I guess you would call it, or a seed toaster. Oh, it's which just brings out these really beautiful oils and aromatics. It's really, really good at burning spices. Yes, yeah, it's good. That's so what it careful. excels at. Yeah, be careful. So two teaspoons each. We've got some ground fennel. Oh, that's it. Some ground fennel seed. Yeah, some right. yummy oregano. Dried oregano. Yes, dried oregano. 
And then the celery seed is what went in also. So celery seed, fennel seed that is ground, and then dried oregano. So two teaspoons each. We're going to add a little salt and pepper to it. Oh, yeah. Let's get more sauce going on. Salt, pepper, two large eggs. Uh, we are lucky to have a lot of backyard chickens that we really love. So we have these really beautiful orange eggs that just shine. So the eggs are in, it's all mixed, ground beef going in. Just under three pounds of ground beef. We're going to plug it right in here. We switch from spoon to hand. I'm going in with hands. I may handle the meat much easier. <laughs> I find that I always forget to take my jewelry off when I do this, so if you have jewelry, I recommend taking it off. We're just going to get it all mixed in here. I'm going to grab our prepared can. Now, here's a little tidbit about the Scuffney family. They have this beautiful love. I'm excited about this. <laughs> yeah, what, what do I, what, what do I, what here it don't is. I know about meat? Heart-shaped meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Now, the drive for Lenny Reed Cabernet Franc, one of the main focuses is to have something that goes with a meatloaf that you make on a Thursday night. You know, you go in the cellar and you think, oh, I can't open that bottle or that's a birth year. We wanted to make something that is accessible and available to everyone and that would go well with a Sunday night prime rib, or a Thursday night meatloaf. So being a true Scuffney family, we are going to make a heart-shaped meatloaf. You can do any shape you like, an oval. We have kids, they like the heart shape too. So plop that baby in here, Reed. Great, so it's in this big lump now. <laughs> you made it very easy for me. I'm just going to make it this way. A little dent, and voila. Our oven is already preheated. It's at 425, ready to go. It's going to cook for about 50 to 60 minutes. Set that timer, and then you can check the internal temperature. It should be about 150 degrees when you pull it out. So get it in the oven, and we'll meet you back here uh, when it's done cooking. Our timer just went off. Our kitchen smells amazing. So I'm going to pull the meat over out. All right, so it is blazing hot. Beautiful. Smells delicious. So I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to let it rest for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to dive in and talk about why it's going to go so well with our 2015 North Coast Cabernet Franc. All right, so we're back. We're we going to are... try this meatloaf that we just baked off. We in are the oven. excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. So um, we are pouring with this meatloaf the Lang & Reed 2015 mm -hmm. North Coast. Um, this wine consists of 100% Cab Franc from New World, California. Um, John Scutney, our winemaker, has been making this for 26 years now. Um, it is our mainstay. This is the wine to taste. Yeah, yeah, it is. We uh, This is what Langenry is known for, creating this beautiful Cabernet Franc and uh, more of a Loire Valley style. Uh, the, the reason that this wine goes so well with the, the meatloaf is actually twofold. So for me, I love the acidity of Cabernet Franc. It's just right in this balanced parcel that you, you you have to have. If you have something so rich and meaty like a meatloaf, especially this one, as you can see with the grease, just and sticking out of it. a beautiful heart shape. Ah! Okay, my heart shape that was like this, it kind of came out like this. Close, close <laughs> but whatever, it was the point. It was yeah. the, the it was, I tried. You would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. I really tried hard. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to just chowing down on this meatloaf and having the acidity of the Cabernet Franc just cut right through it so I can just have a bite again and again and what I'm excited for is the herbaceousness of a Cabernet Franc to pair with the herbaceousness of the oregano, toasted fennel, and celery seed that we put into this meatloaf. I think they'll they'll pair really well and um, accentuate each other. Like, yeah. like we do. Very much so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's dive in because we gotta we gotta just see if it's gonna work. So what I'm seeing is a beautiful toasty crust, very moist on the inside. A lot of fat dripping out, 20% or 80% lean, 20% fat. Mm -hmm. I think it's spot on, you guys. I, I think we I think we nailed it. Mm -hmm. I hope your meatloaf <laughs> musical selection and food is just as good as ours. We know the wine will be. So join us every week. Uh, we'll invite you back into our home, back into our kitchen. and New wine, new recipe. Yeah, yeah. So monitor our social media feed and our website. You're able to order the wine, download the recipe, and just come prepared and ready to hang out. Cheers. Cheers.